Mark Haynes doing stuff. Welcome back to the channel. It is one of our favorite times. It is time to give my comments about your comments. If uh, you've been following the channel for a little while, you know this is something I like to do every now and then. But before we get started, I want to say Happy Mother's Day, um, which was yesterday to all the the ladies out there. Um, we appreciate you. So uh, let's get into this. I like to react to everybody's comments that comments on my channel. If I don't do it um, directly, if I don't respond to your comment, I make these videos here where we uh, I read the comments and I give my reaction to your comments. This is just something I like to do to show that uh, I read everyone's comment. I like to interact with them. Um, all of my viewers here on YouTube. So, uh, Love Giants writes on my Flexing Pecs video, Giant Greek God. Um, maybe. Like, uh, the Greek statues. That's what all bodybuilders are trying to look like, you know. So, um, someone writes on the scene from Turning Teddy, Good for you, brother. Keep up the good work. It will happen for you, that big break. I'm hoping so. You know, this whole uh, acting thing, it's a frustrating business. Um, and people don't realize how much, you know, people that aren't into acting, they don't realize how much rejection you have to deal with and uh, how frustrating it is to finally get, you know, to get a break. And, um, you know, it's it's really... It can be disheartening and frustrating, so I'm hoping that that, you know, comes along. Oh, and I got this Band-Aid on. I put a Cars Band-Aid, but I got a blister, uh, in case you were wondering about that. I had a blister from uh, uh, doing some construction last week, so that's what's going on with that. Um, okay, I got a comment here from Chica Da Silva saying, Hi, could you make a video cracking your body joints like the back and neck? Um, I can do my knuckles. I had, I put up a video of, uh, doing, demonstrating, uh, how to crack someone else's back. I put that up a little while ago. You can find it on here. I don't know. Is that like, um, is that like a fetish? People want to see like joints cracking or something. I'm not really, not really sure. Um, but yeah, I guess I could make a video like that. My, my neck doesn't really, I don't know. I, I don't know if it cracks, but, uh, I crack my knuckles sometimes. They say you're not supposed to do that, but I still do. Uh, some death, the unbeatable ka writes oil on a weight room video, just oil. Um, I get that a lot. People asking me to, um, rub oil on my body and make videos like that. Um, I think that's a little inappropriate for YouTube, so I don't, I don't really do that. Okay. Also on that same video of the weight room where I was, uh, flexing a little post-workout, Zypher Aces comments, what made you want to put this on YouTube, old man? Um... I, what made me want to put it on YouTube, I had like a decent pump that day. I think I trained chest at the gym and uh, I, um, I don't know, I, I kind of liked it. I just wanted, I needed some content and I know a lot of my, uh, sometimes when I do like chest flexing videos, they, they perform really well. So um, that's why I want to do it. Uh, you must be very young you think I'm an old man because I'm in my 30s so hopefully I still have at least 50 more years to live so I'm not halfway through my life so I don't know but that is why I what made me want to post that up uh Habs Mike writes should do longer shoulder rides you have massive shoulders and it would be the best shoulder ride ever yeah I could do shoulder rides for a long time but I don't know if people want to see that on YouTube just uh shoulder ride videos but maybe i mean there's there's crazier things on youtube that uh 
people do and get lots of views on. Donald Falcone writes, I'm born and raised on the Jersey Shore, so beach buds are a big thing in the summer. Don't let fancy weights stop you from getting gains. Keep on keeping on. That's right. You know, during COVID, all the gyms were were closed down and uh, we didn't have access to, to weights unless you had a home gym. But, you know, you still had to find a way to get it in, get a workout in, go to the to the local park and do some pull-ups on the bar. Um, I bought, you know, like some cinder blocks and stuff to lift with. So, yeah, that's, exa that's some great advice. Don't let um, fancy weights and things like that stop you from getting a good workout. Um, a lot of people make that as an excuse, like uh, why they're not in shape. Well, I don't have the money for a gym membership. Um, there's, there's plenty of things you can do without going to the gym, without having fancy weights, you know, you can do a pretty good workout, just calisthenics or, um, you know, things like that. Uh, the Vanderpump Vegas video, Sean Doyle said, place looked awesome. Shame the food was, um, yeah, thumbs down. Yeah, <clears throat> it was awesome inside there. Like just the, the view of everything, um, just how it looked. It was amazing, but yeah, I think they spent uh, too much time making the place look good instead of uh, working on like huh, the food and stuff, making the food taste good. But it looked like you know something out of a a TV show or a movie or something. So it was it was pretty awesome the way it looked. Um, on my uh, lift and carry skip for the Daily Show, Nats. Right, how big is your biceps? Can you do arm wrestling two versus one or wrestling submissions again? Um, biceps, I don't know. I haven't measured them in a while. When I was in my peak at competing, they were 21 inches. Um, I would imagine they're at least 20 inches still. But uh, I don't know. I, haven't, I don't really uh, measure stuff anymore because I'm not like in the body. Like I don't compete like I used to. So... Uh, I don't know. Um, and then he asked if I can do arm wrestling two versus one or wrestling submissions. Yeah, I was planning on doing some stuff like that. Uh, I got to be careful, you know, because I tore my bicep before. And I know that arm wrestling, uh, you can hurt yourself or hurt somebody else. I've seen a lot of videos like that. So something to be careful for. But yeah, I'm planning on doing different self-defense stuff, different arm wrestling, different wrestling in general. For the channel so uh yeah just keep keep following here um oh and then i had a comment on the uh, the video in vegas at the flamingo of the pool um where it charged 38 dollars for a drink and he said at that price it better be permanent better last forever you know that, that is kind of crazy 38 dollars for a um pina colada is um that's pretty expensive for, for one drink. I remember the uh, the old days you could go to a party and pay $5 and it was all you can drink, you know, like in uh, college and at the parties and stuff. But, uh, you know, it's Vegas, so the prices are going to be, um, you know, especially when you're in the touristy part of Vegas. Prices are going to be high, but... Uh, it's just one thing you got to deal with. I'm not really a big drinker anyways, but like the yeah, food and everything's expensive too. So, um, wouldn't be something I would do on a, on a regular basis, spending, spending prices like that for, for a drink. But, uh, something you can do when you're in Vegas, you know, just, just like once a one-time thing. All right, so I think I've pretty much responded to everything else, but um, keep them comments coming because I love interacting with my followers. I love making YouTube videos, and uh, it's great to be part of this whole community. We're a family here. Again, happy Mother's Day to all the, the hot moms out there, and uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll be doing more stuff. Thank you.